Hi, I'm Valder Beebe. I'm the host and the visionary of the Valder Beebe show, God Talk. Some people talk to God and others believe that God talks to them. Join us in conversation with authors, religious clergy, metaphysicians, and regular people like you and I and God Talk. God Talk is a podcast available on FM Radio, Roku TV, and online. Subscribe at ValderBBShow.com. You can also subscribe at YouTube.com slash ValderBBShow. Join the conversation of God Talk. I'll see you there. Good day and welcome back to the Valder BB Show. I've got a really serious subject. Hopefully you enjoyed the music while I was gone, but i got to change the tune here. I've got Essence Sullins and Nancy Woodruff. They've got some of the most critical jobs today. And I'm going to let them kind of tell us about being a dispatcher. But these jobs are really seriously important. Ladies, welcome to the Valder BB Show. Good morning. Thank you. You guys are in the fast-paced world of emergency call center, and you also you're on a show on Oxygen Network. Essence, can you tell me what has it been like to to take your job and put it on TV? How does that feel? Um, it, it's an amazing feeling. It's a great feeling that um, not only did someone recognize that you know we were worthy to be recognized in this manner, but also to help enlighten everyone. It, it's an amazing feeling to be able to help educate people and show them what it is that we actually do. I can only imagine. Nancy, you know, okay, you guys are hearing, you're taking, you're dealing with life as it happens. You hear callers terrorized by shots fired, uh, angered over stolen cars, pleading for their lives sometimes, or in medical emergencies. What do you guys show us that we can use at home to help us? Well, the first thing I want you to do is know where you are. Um, If it's at all possible, please have an address or at least a location, a business name, something, so we can get you help. Um, Secondly, listen to us. We will ask you questions to get you the best help available as quick as possible. Um, Arguing, being frustrated, it's, it just delays help. Okay. Um, It's, it's imperative that we get you help as soon as possible. And the more you cooperate with us, the better off it'll be. That is some great advice. It really is. So stay calm, stay focused and let you do the leading and we take your lead. Correct. Yes, ma'am. I will ask, I will ask you all the questions. All you have to do is answer them. Um, I will get you the appropriate help, whether it be police, fire, or an ambulance. Just don't panic. Let me help you, and I will get you the, the help you need. Essence, when you have us on the line, people, we're humans, and we're, we're prone to panic. And you need to get this information for us. What do, is there a catchphrase or something that you have that you say that we can listen for to know that, okay, I need to remain calm? Usually if we're able to get the caller's name and we're able to keep saying their name, um, that kind of reels them in and, and kind of gets them focused on what we're saying. Um, but if that isn't the case, I found that remaining calm does usually kind of calm them down. Um, I mean, if they hear that you're screaming or yelling or panicky, then then it kind of heightens what they're already going through. So if we're not able to get a name, I have noticed that kind of remaining calm and, you know, repeating phrases, eventually they kind of come back to you and and you kind of reel them back in that way um, by either calling out their name or remaining calm while they're on the line. You know, our ultimate job is to try to kind of diffuse the situation so that we can get the information that we need. Uh, So us remaining calm usually helps to calm them down. All right. And Nancy, on 911 Crisis Center on Oxygen Network, what do you want us to take away from this? I want you to understand that I guess we're more than just secretaries. I want you to understand that I even though I don't see it, I still live it. I still feel it. I still hold it in my heart and my mind. Um, I'm a I'm a first responder, and I want the public to understand that we are first responders. 
um, in the state of Ohio, we're still classified as clerical workers. So I'm hoping that this will shed some light on that and maybe we can get some changes made. Mm, that's very interesting, clerical workers. And finally, I'm going to wrap up with you, Essence. How has this changed you working at the 911 Center, or has it changed you? Um, for me personally, it hasn't changed much. However, it's changed for everyone around me. Um, I guess it kind of shed light to everyone else what it is that we really do, what it is that we really go through. You know, I mean, we can tell them the stories when we come home, but for them to actually see it happening and how, you know, things go from beginning to end, it kind of changed everyone else perspective on what it is that I do. So, you know, I get a lot more questions now. Um, actually, I get a lot more sympathy now because people are like, oh my gosh, how do you do it? Like, I feel so, I couldn't do it. I keep hearing that. I couldn't do it. So, you know, it, it is shedding light on what we do and um, it's giving people a different perspective as to how we actually operate on a day-to-day -day basis. Okay. I had the opportunity to talk to Essence and Nancy from 911 Crisis Center, and you'll be seeing this on Oxygen. Ladies, I want to salute you for your job, for what you do. I call this the highest service to this country, and you guys obviously do it very well. Thanks for being my guest on the Valder BB Show. I really appreciate your time. Thank Valder, you. thank you so much. Have a great day. I'm Valder BB. I host the Valder BB Show broadcast on radio and television. And this is my phone pouch. My phone pouch is a great invention. It allows me to go hands free, pocket free, purse free, even belt free. Head on over to myphonepouch.com.